It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. I was like genuinely shocked by this. What the heck? So good. Do whatever you want. I, <laughs> it was, she so is. <laughs> What's happening? Your mom's standing outside the door crying. Hey, we're Cimarelli. My name's Christina and I'm the oldest sister. Having been on YouTube for 10 years, we get a lot of messages. This one in particular caught my eye. I read this message, I knew we had to do something. I really wanted to help her out because I remember how much courage it takes to pour your heart into this piece of art and then put it out there into the world. Meet Sydney. She's a 15-year-old from Iowa who loves to sing and record songs in her bedroom. Basically me. She wrote and released her own song, and she got positive feedback from her family and friends. But like any time you put yourself out there, she also got some negative feedback. The very first song I ever put out there was on MySpace, and I was absolutely terrified. And I remember the first hate comment that I ever got it was 14 years ago. It was just something like, you're horrible. And it was this like old, bald man. I just saw his angry looking face and I saw the comment and I was like, what do you mean I'm horrible? I remember when I was 17 and we first came out on YouTube and we got a lot of really mean comments and especially me and Danny for some reason. But the worst one for me was seeing people like ranking us and they would rank us like prettiest to ugliest or like best singer to worst singer. And I feel like I would always be like the last or the second last. And it was like so hurtful. I just, I couldn't look at it anymore. I was like, ugh. I can kind of laugh about it now, but at the time it was literally heartbreaking. I was like, I don't want to put anything else out. I don't want to get one more comment like that. We invited her to travel across the country and spend two days with us in Nashville. While she's here, she's going to re-record her song professionally. She's going to do her first professional photo shoot. And overall, we're just going to encourage her and build up her confidence. I'm Sydney, I'm 15, I was born and raised in Iowa. I've never been in a professional studio or done a photo shoot before, like a professional one, so I'm nervous, but I'm really excited. So our vision for this shoot was to get a couple different things because we didn't really know which vibes would feel the most like her, so we wanted to try something a little more moody and kind of like an empty room kind of thing, and then also a more like summer fun outdoors kind of vibe, and then just like super simple like portrait look. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous about being on camera? Yes. Tell us about I, that. Tell us about that. I camera. feel like I need to be perfect and not have any flaws. <laughs> Pressure is on to look good, to be good, you know, to talk well, to know what to say. What we're trying to do today is just capture your essence so you don't need to be mm -hmm. anything other than yourself. You don't have to be perfect. Like mm -hmm. this is just you being you. So you don't need to yeah. worry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to I want you to another one where you do the same thing you just did, literally the exact same thing with your hair over the side, but instead of the serious face, do like a soft like mouth closed smile, just like okay. just like that, like chill, with, like with my hair. This the way? same thing you just did, yeah, okay. just with a nice like yes, perfect. Woo! Say like that. Woo! Cute. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Also like so. She's so good at this. Yeah. Oh, Woo! sis. Yes. yes. Go off. <laughs> Yep. Whoa! Yes. Yes. I told you. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> 
Sydney is killing this photo shoot. She looks like she's been modeling for years. Most people are really shy in front of cameras and don't know how to act, but Sydney is the complete opposite. Where did she get those poses from? She just automatically like... When I try to take pictures, I'm just like... Uh, yeah, that's what I want. I want it like super close to her face and like, look, make your eyes a little bit more like dreamy. Like, hmm. Like and if you're, like yes. You're like, hmm. Just thinking. Thinking. Maybe she should be for her single cover. Yeah, that's the way. Ooh! Are you it's designing like, it? Yeah. Yeah. And like red. You are? Like, like the graphic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I really like that. Oh, one. I like the looking up one when you're like, Wow. Oh, this is so sick. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, and her eyes are like, yeah. Working with Lauren and Danny was amazing. They're amazing people and have amazing personalities and they just like inspired me to be comfortable with what I'm doing and I'm so excited to see how these pictures turn out. So when I released my first song, I was I was kind of an, an, in the know that I was probably going to have some bad feedback from people. And so I was very nervous, but I didn't even think about it, really. I just kind of, like, did it. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I came out, I just, I was like, oh, we're on a good roll here. No one said anything. But then some people started saying things about it. And I just remember thinking, eh, I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do any more songs. I didn't realize that they were going to say that or they were going to do that. I do the production on a lot of our songs, so I'm going to be working with Sydney on her track. You said you wrote this song in December? This is, this is the first song you've ever done, Yeah. right? I basically just took what you gave me and added more depth to it to give it a more full sound, but it's not like I finished it all yet because I wanted to work on it with you, but I just wanted to have something to start with. Sydney's song is so good. After I finished working on the track, I literally listened to it on repeat for hours. I don't know if you noticed, I've literally been singing it all day. Really? So, yeah. I took out this thing because I wasn't really sure what you were going for with it. Yeah, so no. I didn't want to redo it until I asked you that. But this thing... I don't like it. <laughs> I... <laughs> It was turned down in the song. Like I couldn't bear. I turned it every time I would hear. I would turn it more down, more down, more down. I, I just didn't want to get rid of it because I was just like, well, it makes it sound better. And not really. So it's okay, so you just don't completely want it. just ditch it. added effects to it. Like, I didn't put anything new in, really. Oh. Also, just so you know, your mom's standing outside the door crying. After I played for Sydney, what I did for her track, her mom started crying. She was just so proud and so happy to see her daughter on the path to living her dream. Negative reactions are inevitable when you put yourself out there in any way in life. So when you experience that negativity for the first time, it makes it really hard to put yourself out there again. Oftentimes, people won't even try in the first place because they're so scared of failure. But Sydney did. She put herself out there and she took that first step. Working on this track with Sydney was so easy because she picks things up so quickly. If I was in her position of having someone look through a track that I made, I would have been so nervous and I probably wouldn't have been able to really say anything. But she just on the spot is coming up with all these ideas and she already knows exactly what she likes, what she doesn't like, and exactly what she wants. She's so confident and she's so willing to just ask any question she has, so I can already tell this track is gonna turn out perfect. We had a surprise, we wanted to ask you this. We want to know how you'd feel about us featuring on the song and doing harmonies on the song. What? <laughs> so it could oh say my featuring, gosh! It could say featuring Cimarelli. 
Ja. Yeah. <lacht> wow. Oh my god. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's gonna be you featuring Simarelli, so that'll be really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my sisters and I, we were actually pretty close to your age when we started the band. We were all like teenagers and we started even like really intentionally studying people that had these really big careers and who had a lot of success. And you never once found a person that just had a lucky break and then made it. Like it was always these people that had tried for years and failed so many times and they just never stopped trying. Like I always think, try to think of like the big picture when you're a lot older, like when you're in your fifties or your sixties and you're looking back on your life and your music, you're gonna think of the times that you failed and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that was so hard and I went through so much, but if I hadn't gone through those things, I wouldn't be the strong person that I am now. And all those experiences that like broke you in the moment are what end up making you in the future. It definitely takes a lot of confidence, especially when you're a teenager, to put yourself out there like that and like release a piece of art that you created to the world and know that like everyone you know and random people could hear it and comment on it and like give you their opinion on what you did that you did not ask for. But I just wanna say first, I wanna like commend your like bravery in putting yourself out there but you're at the place where you can take that second step now and like start like a trend for your whole life where it's like, when I get knocked down, when I experience pain, when I go through heartache or failure or anything like that, I like look it in the face and get up and go for it anyway. I don't let it keep me down. I really hope that we can help like build your spirit up basically. Like you already have like this fire inside of you, but I want us to like make it burn a lot stronger. It's so cool to see you putting yourself out there and following your gifts and your passions because they're given to you by God for a reason and everyone has them and most people never get the courage to actually follow them. And when you follow them and you follow God, it's such a beautiful moment to see that. And I'm just so proud of you for even starting on this journey because most people never take the first step. I just hope that we can help you to just stay strong in your commitment to yourself and to keep going and to always remember that you're going where you need to go and you will get there if you never give up. There's no way that you will not get where you wanna go if you just refuse to not keep going. If you just refuse to quit, that's what I meant to say. I'm going to be recording Sydney's vocals today in the studio with her and I'm so excited because I love recording people. So yesterday we had you in like a professional studio so you could get that experience which is super cool and that's how we started out but we wanted to show you that you can also get just as professional of a product in a home studio. We know that you have a bedroom studio little setup going on so we wanted to help you learn how to work with what you have. So have you only ever recorded vocals yourself like you've never had anyone else record you? No just myself. How did you feel when you first started recording your own vocals, like were you nervous? My, my microphone wasn't good at first, so it just kind of made it sound worse than I thought. <laughs> so once I got a better microphone, I was like, oh, this is making it sound better and I feel like I can like use it. I know from my own experience, when I first started recording my own vocals for our covers and stuff at home, and I would listen back and just be like really frustrated, like why doesn't this sound good? Why doesn't this sound how I want to sound? Did you experience anything like that? Yeah, because I feel like I would sing and be like, oh, this harmony is gonna be good. And then I would re-listen to it and be like, it's, didn't mix right or it doesn't sound yeah. right with what I'm doing. When we started out recording, our first experience was with a major record label actually. So we learned how to record from people that recorded Beyonce, Mariah Carey, Katy Perry, Kendrick Lamar, like literally everyone. And I'm very excited to pass some of those tips on to you today. Fireflies light up the sky. You and I were sitting by each other's side. Sunsets, late nights. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so sing it to me in the air right now. Okay. Like the beginning? Yeah, the just air. that section we just did. Fireflies light up the sky. You and I were sitting by each other's side. Sunsets, late nights. Wait, do the second half and like smile when you do it? Smiling when you sing opens up your whole face, basically, so it can make your sound much brighter. For instance, if you're just going like, 
ha and your mouth's really like relaxed and drab versus like ha it's like it's a happier sound you know you could even do a little um you could do a little softer on the parts like night walks around the lake like oh, softer yeah, like, yeah. yeah i think that'll be good for the verse because then the chorus has a little more to go mm -hmm. so yeah. let's try that okay i always do it really dramatically when i record art vocals i'm like <laughs> i do my hand like this i'm like yeah use your body if you feel like it i do a bunch of stuff because it, it, it makes it sound more like emotional when you do more stuff mm -hmm. don't be scared of being like too weird because sometimes you do it really dramatic but then it doesn't translate very dramatic in the yeah. record do whatever you want yeah. don't be like oh, okay. yeah <laughs> Together during that summer, during that summer. Oh, I love that, that one. Really good. That sounded really amazing good. In, in here. It's really good. I was really genuinely impressed with Sydney's musical ear. When you're recording someone, you have to usually explain to them how to change things and fix them. But I knew from working with her, as soon as I said, oh, let's redo that section, she started very quickly already knowing what she needed to do and doing it fast. One, two, ha, ha. encourage you when you're writing songs and just kind of like in your daily life too like just to really keep that confidence going okay so this is a, uh, a songwriting book for um, all your songs Ooh, and we cool. each wrote like a little like tip in there somewhere you kind of like, flip through these we thought you could put in your room some like positive Whoa, quotes. I like that yeah and you can also hang it on the wall you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take Create the grandest, highest vision possible for your life because you become what you believe. Oprah. Oh. 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 Thank you. Yay. You're welcome. Yay. If you ever need to pick me up, you can read that. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're ready to see the photo shoot pictures. I'm so excited for this. How do you feel before we look at them? Like, how are you feeling right now? I'm just excited to see like how they look because I didn't really actually get to see. And they okay. weren't there for the photo shoot. So they don't know. Yeah. Oh, they don't oh know. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. gosh they look so good I did not know you could make a plain old living room look like that she is such a natural and I am so shook they all looked like a real artist and totally like album art oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. queen Genuinely, I was like genuinely shocked by this yeah. because I thought like, oh, we'll get a cool photo shoot. But when I saw when I saw what she actually did, I was like, what the heck? Because this, it literally looks like legit artwork that you'd see from like a major artist. It's I'm not exaggerating. It's like shocking. I think everyone watching is gonna be like, what the heck? It's so <laughs> good. 
Your picture is in the envelope, honey. You have what it takes to be America's Next Top Model. I'm just saying. So now we're gonna show you guys, and myself too, because I haven't heard it, the full new version of the song. I'm so really excited. Sydney is hardworking, musically talented, creative, and passionate. I think she's gonna do really well. Sydney is an extremely confident person. I think she just didn't show it a lot, but I definitely saw it come out during the photo shoot and the recording. And I hope that throughout her life, she always lets it shine, because I know that it's in there and I saw it. Sydney is so talented and it's really cool that she's taught herself so many things. I hope we can all take Sydney as an example and go out there in our own lives, even when we know we're gonna get knocked down and just be brave enough to try. All right, wait. hit it, Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> hit it. Crank it up. Oh. Sydney did an amazing job on her vocals. It sounds so cool. Awesome. Not how I expected that song to even go. I thought that song was just like done, like over with. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's like a whole new version. If you had never sat down and written the song, if you had never recorded the song, if you never put the song, if you never messaged me. I know. It's so weird that like, like all those little actions mm -hmm. like led to this. I was thinking about like when I first started music when I was 15 and how I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. The only reason I actually did them was because someone told me I could do them. Someone believed in me. I hope that this is a big lesson that you see these limits that you put on yourself about what you can actually do, but they might be completely wrong. So I hope that this is something you can apply to anything in your life. That's what I hope. You take this and apply it to everything. Whether or not music becomes like your career or it's something that you just do for the rest of your life, you saw yourself like go do more than you thought you could do. Like you sang higher than you thought you could sing. You probably spoke up a lot more than you thought you could speak up. Mm -hmm. You modeled for a professional photo shoot and then you sang in front of so many people and the camera crew and all of that. That's probably something that you never really thought you were gonna do or maybe didn't think you had the courage to do. So I want you to take that lesson and just apply it to everything in your life. Instead of automatically thinking, I could never do that, I could never be that, you instead say, maybe I could do that, maybe I should try. And then even if you fail, you're like, that still doesn't mean I can't do it, I'm gonna try again. When we try and we don't do our best, instead of stopping there, we need to get back up and try again. Failing is part of succeeding. You won't learn without it. Don't let yourself be defined by other people's opinions. Be the unique artist that only you can be. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat.
reaching this point. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Do one more. Or did we just after Sydney heard what I did? After I played for Sydney, what I. What I did for her. Yeah, I don't know. All right. <clears throat> During that summer. You sound so sick. Okay. I'm like, I don't remember being. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you got a tadpole in your belly! Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. I love that. Sydney is so cute. That was weird. Love a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> we tried, okay. <laughs> like, I think that was her age. I was 15. And. <laughs> yeah, I turned around and must. It sounds so cool. It sounds so cool. It sounds so cool. <laughs> okay. Feels so awkward. All right, hey, Sydney, how's it going? So here we are, pep talking it. 